In the past, friends would ask, what are you doing this weekend? The reply would be, oh, there's three of us for this weekend. We're going to have a great time, me, myself and I. Nowadays, people say spending some me time, meaning having time alone. Being alone from time to time is a good thing. It enables us to work on ourselves, reflect and grow without any outside influences. It gives us time to perhaps heal or perhaps to replenish energies in order to move forward positively. Ego, that opinion of ourselves that we like to feed, that we like to have stroked from time to time. Hmm, some people have bigger ones than others and some have them a little overinflated. Some people seem to have a small ego. They believe they're not good enough. And that's usually because someone with a big ego told them. It was a lie, but unfortunately they believed it until they learned the truth. We're all good enough. People can sometimes say things that trigger us and hurt us. Or do they? It's how we take the words or the actions. We make them about us when really they're not. It's just our ego. Isn't that what a selfie is? Taking a picture of yourself to see how you look. Why do you need to take a selfie? Why do you need to see yourself through a lens? Are you afraid to look in the mirror? Are you afraid you might not like what you see? You snapped that selfie anyway and you posted it on social media because you wanted your ego stroked. You went fishing for compliments because it boosts your ego and gives you a quick fix. But it didn't really. It just took you further away from your true self, from your spiritual self. It's not real. It's just an image. Take away the ego and then we wouldn't need the rest either. The lens would return to photographs, to art, to memories and reminders of good times we shared. That's the key word right there, shared. There's nothing to share with a selfie. It's just you, yourself and your ego. Just like me, myself and I.